Two magnificent recent fossil finds in Europe are posing a great challenge to old ways of thinking on Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. It was previously believed that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens overlapped as the latter were on the fast track towards extinction. Contemporaneous only for 2,000 to 5,000 years was the general consensus. It now appears that the two species may have lived side by side for 10,000, maybe even 15,000 years. Magnificent discovery in France, Magnifique découverte en France. Excavations began at Glotte de Mandron, a cave in southwest France in 1990. The scientists announced their findings, including a monumental human fossil find in a paper published February 2022. Modern human incursion into Neanderthal territories 54,000 years ago at Mandron, France. From the BBC, February 2022, Neanderthal extinction not caused by brutal wipeout, new fossils are challenging ideas that modern humans wiped out Neanderthals soon after arriving from Africa. Continuing, a discovery of a child's tooth and stone tools in a cave in southern France suggests Homo sapiens were in Western Europe about 54,000 years ago. Quote, we are now able to demonstrate that Homo sapiens arrived 12,000 years before we expected. End quote. Professor Ludovic Slimak of the Université de Toulouse. Quote, we should be asking what did these two species do together? Did they communicate? And how did they interact? Because Neanderthals experienced and existed in the world differently to our ancestors, not just by culture, but by their very nature. End quote. Ludovic Simak. BBC, the idea of a prolonged interaction with Neanderthals fits in with the discovery made in 2010 that modern humans have a small amount of Neanderthal DNA, indicating that the two species interbred, according to Professor Stringer. Svante Pabo and his team at the Max Planck Institute confirmed 2-4% Neanderthal DNA in the genome of Eurasians in 2010. Otzi the Iceman was found to have 5.5% Neanderthal. Some outliers in the modern European population could have as high as 6% Neanderthal. Lincombian Ranician Germanowitzian. In January 2024, a second major find was published in Nature. Homo sapiens reached the higher latitudes of Europe by 45,000 years ago. LRG is a name given to a spear point manufacturing culture of the Upper Paleolithic that stretched from the southern British Isles to Central Europe. The spear points were initially uncovered in Moravia. Quote, what we find with the LRG is that it was not made by Neanderthals, but by Homo sapiens moving into Europe much earlier than we thought. End quote. Jean-Jacques Hublon, Smithsonian Magazine. Archaeologists have been digging at the base of the castle in Rhenus, Germany since the 1930s. NBC News reports in 2016, armed with modern digging technology and new forms of analysis, the researchers returned. There was a huge six foot in diameter boulder blocking the entrance to a cave underneath the castle. After weeks of struggle, they finally removed the boulder. Almost immediately, they uncovered spear points Hours later, 15 human bone fragments were uncovered. As NBC News reports, DNA analysis confirmed the bone fragments were from humans. NBC News, quote, Finding human remains mixed with animal bones that had been stored for almost a century was an unexpected and fantastic surprise. End quote. Hélène Rougier, paleoanthropologist at California State University. Jean-Jacques Hublon, quote, this fundamentally changes our previous knowledge about the period. Homo sapiens 
reaching Northwestern Europe long before Neanderthal disappearance, end quote. Smithsonian, the animal teeth and bones revealed that these early humans existed amid a harsh tundra landscape populated by cave bears, horses, and woolly rhinoceros. Prehistoric fiction author foretold Neanderthal Homo sapiens cooperation and lovemaking. In 1980, Jean All released her book, Clan of the Cave Bear. It became a huge bestseller. In the next decade, All produced four more books in the series. The movie version of the book, Clan of the Cave Bear, starring Daryl Hannah, was released in 1985. From BigBear.com, The Extraordinary Journey of Ayla. The story follows the journey of a young girl who was taken in and raised by the Neanderthal clan. Continuing, the interplay between the different species of human adds depth and complexity to the narrative, cultural differences, traditions, and societal norms. Passage, page 26. All those primitive people with almost no frontal lobes and speech limited by undeveloped vocal organs but with large brains larger than any race of man living or future generations yet unborn page 27 in them the unconscious knowledge of ancestral behavior called instinct had evolved stored in the back of their own brains the memories of their forebearers they could recall their ancestry their own evolution Extinction? Stringer, BBC. We don't know if it was peacefully exchanges of partners. It might have been grabbing a female from another group. It might have even been adopting abandoned or lost Neanderthal babies who had been orphaned. Chris Stringer interviewed Jean All at a book conference in London in 2012. Quote, we even know there's a bit of Neanderthal DNA in modern humans so they're not particularly gone, end quote. Stringer, quote, The DNA shows many of us have 2.5% Neanderthal DNA. Of course you had interbreeding in there right from the very beginning, end quote. Gene All, quote, unquote, right. More to come. Jean-Jacques Hublon from LiveScience.org, quote, I would also like to examine Neanderthal remains from after contact with Homo sapiens to see if there's any signs of Homo sapiens DNA in them, end quote. Carrying Neanderthal DNA, a mother of all the European peoples. Bienvenue à toutes les personnes qui parlent français. Nous aurons une vidéo comme celle-ci en français très bientôt. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and be sure to tell others about the channel. See you soon.